Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about Azure uh, RBAC roles, which is role-based access control. So before going into the practicals, let's look into what uh, Azure RBAC roles are. So coming to the definition of Azure RBAC roles, it's a way of managing access to Azure resources by assigning specific roles to the user groups and applications. With RBAC, you can uh, control who has access to your resources and what actions they can perform on these resources. So in simple terms, RBAC helps you to manage uh, who can do what in your Azure environment. So you can assign roles to users or uh, groups based on their responsibilities and permissions, such as ability to create, read, uh, update, and delete the resources. So this, is, uh, this makes it easier to manage uh, access to resources across different teams or departments and helps to ensure that users only have access to the resources that they need to do their job. So this comes uh, like least privilege. So you should give the access which is least privilege to users. So for instance, let's consider, so this is the scope. For example, if you give a user, so let's say there is a user called Ravi. So if you give a Ravi a role where he's a owner, okay, so he'll be owner for the whole architecture, right? For instance, uh, let's say you have given, uh, let's say there is a user B for whom you have given a VM contributor access, okay? contributor access so whatever uh, vms that you create inside this particular subscription he'll be able to manage all the vms let's say for instance instead of uh, giving him at the subscription level let's say you have given it him at resource level or resources so he'll be only having uh, access to this particular level so if you want that user to have access uh, more than that then you can uh, assign accordingly so based on the level that you give, he'll be able to access uh, the resources and perform actions accordingly. So let's look uh, in the Azure portal and see how we can actually do that. So as we have seen, let's go into the subscription. So you can see there is a subscription. Let's click uh, subscription instead of active directory. And uh, here let's go into the Azure subscriptions. Click that, I only have one, so I'm able to see the one. So under the subscription, you can see uh, there is a you know access control, right? And it's uh, you know the concept is just like inherited. So whatever role that you give on the top level, everything will be inherited in the below level. So that is what it is. Uh, I'll let go back and uh, coming to the access controls, you can see here the roles. So you can just add uh, the role, and you can see add role assignments, add the co-administrator and custom role. So in this case, we'll be using uh, add role assignments. So when you click role, you can see we have different roles here. Initially, which is owner, contributor and reader. So owner is nothing but it grants full access to manage all the resources, including the ability to access roles in Azure are back. And coming to the contributor, it grants full access to manage resources, but does not allow you to assign roles in Azure are back. Whereas reader is just view all the resources. So these are few roles that uh, you can add. So for example, let's say I just give contributor role and let's go here and you can add the user uh, group or uh, you no know, users groups or service principal. In this case, uh, if I click select members, you can see I'm able to see all the members uh, who are in my directory and as well as their groups. So you can assign accordingly. Let's say if I use Kiran, so he'll be having access uh, and uh, let's say let's add some other group and select so right now i have added uh, a user uh, named kiran and a group called retail so they'll be having this contributor role right and if you add any description you can add that and just you have to just review and create it it will be done so but uh, i'm not creating here so whenever you create uh, this user so you have created him at subscription level so you have created him at this particular subscription level. So he'll be having contributor role across all the resources that you create inside this subscription. So that is what the access is. You can also go here and uh, so if you don't want on the subscription, you can also go to the resource groups and you can see we have different resource groups and uh, you click and accordingly you can add the resource, uh, uh, you know, permissions accordingly. So you can add the owner role and uh, perform the same operations and give him the access. 
so basically that's what azure our back roles are you can give a uh, you know roles according uh, to your specific needs so yeah i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone